actually upstairs too. Well, I'm gonna go look upstairs. I'm curious. But we do want coffee and things. It's like a book room. All right. <sighs> Let's go get some coffee. All right, that was fantastic. It was so beautiful inside. Um, interestingly, it, the coffee house, gatehouse coffee house, was, is owned and by a local Bible college, and the students of that college run it. And so the, the place is, you know, literally filled with all kinds of Christian propaganda and, and stuff. So it was very sweet, very sweet. We are in the York Castle Museum. But they just renovated, he said. For the period rooms. Let's see. This is supposed to be Victorian era. Ooh. Moreland Cottage. That's a rat down there, and that's a, never mind. And then over here, it's a 1900s bathtub. All right, there we go. Tin bathtub. Bathtub as we know it today. All right, back to the toilets. This was interesting. All right, this one. High level wash down. Yes, it was invented or developed by Thomas Crapper, believe it or not. Here's a pen closet, they call the toilets closets. Interesting. Oh, oh impossible to clean. All right, and then there's this contraption to put water up there. The driver. All right. So they put dirt in there. All right, there's the. We're looking at a spit roast. All right, there's the rope attached there. Goes on up to there. And there's a a weight, and so it weights it down, and that turns the spit. Trying to do something for me, all right? I want you to read one, and I'm going to point to it. All right? Ready? All right. These are questions the kids have been asking. 
right one. So, right, so these are measurements uh, of liquid. Uh, that's the imperial gallon. That's number one. All right, that's number two. All right. There's a gel. Four is a half gel. Okay. So that's the measure of beer and such. Torian hats. sounds like the horses and everything. Of course they're all recorded. Woo! And pipes. These are such a clever way to display all of these items. These the storefronts. Totally missing Tiger. She's the photographer of the group and she would love this. I try to imagine what she would see and what she would want to take pictures of. Ah, I miss my kids. I guess that's the hearth. Maybe they would have had a fire going there. So it would be very difficult. So that's a pot under the high table. And a little pot boy would collect the urine of the lord of the manor so he wouldn't have to leave to relieve himself. But I love this. It's a um, very hands-on displays. these glasses. That's a horn window. Downstairs we saw a linen one. Yes. 
All right. All right, here we are. There's Elizabeth's. Um, all right. There's the hat. This is the gown worn by Elizabeth Taylor in the movie Young Toscanini, I guess. It is gorgeous. Okay, and Elizabeth's also has got that same kind of bustle in the back. It's got a long train. And again, there's this is a beaded tassel right here. Wow, this one's got ornate and uh, beads, and I don't know what that is, but it's right down the front of the gown. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. And then Nicole Kidman for this one in the portrait of a lady. These are supposed to be Victorian gowns. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh my heavens, absolutely gorgeous. I'm coming back to this purple Victorian that Nicole Kidman wore because I wanted to get a side view the profile. Gosh, I love that. And the neckline. that use of the tassel all along here. Kate Blanchett wore this one in the movie Elizabeth in 1998. It's very, very pretty. Oh, I love that bag. This is supposed to be also Elizabethan a movie called Anonymous, I guess. And Charles II, the movie Charles II, um, Rufus Sewell, for that. He is such a hunk. We've been running away from a flock of Greeks who are doing a tour. All right, Heath Ledger wore this one in Casanova. I saw that movie. I think it was very, very nice. And then this one was worn by Kira Knightley, a movie called The Duchess, I guess. I suppose I should have said that this was the Georgian age uh, to the Regency age. Um, we're waiting for the flock of Greeks to to disappear. At least I think that's what they are. I love the hats. We'll get a shot of those later. And over there, uh, there there's uh, more of the Georgian age right here. You know what? I'll just go ahead and zoom in on this. Kate Winslet wore this one uh, in Sense and Sensibility, the movie. I, I wish the lighting was better. I apologize. Let's see. Alec, Alan Rickman wore this in the same movie. And Colin Firth wore this handsome outfit. Makes me want to go see those. Sense and Sensibility. Haven't seen them yet. Oh, here's another view of those hats. And these are all Georgian to Regency hats. In the next room, they're going to let us try on 
some of those hats. All right, we're we're amending some of the things I said earlier. I guess this is Georgian, and this is Regency. So the Georgian is far more flouncy and curvy and big skirts, whereas the Regency is slimmer. And uh, more simple, more flowy in style. I have no idea where they're from. It Italy, something, but I'm calling them the flock of Greeks. Alright, now we can resume. And this is what they wore under. Alright, this is the, the, I don't know if this is Georgian or Regency, let's see, but these are the under things. There's a white corset, kind of a little thin under dress, and then this outer thing that's actually between, goes on the outside. Victorian corsets hooked in the front and laced in the back. Regency corsets just lace up the back. Oh. So they don't have the rich, rich purples. Let's see, Kathy Bates around the world in 80 days for this. Very, very pretty. It's got that nice little bustle. Fringe around there. I don't know if you can see it. Lace up there. And here's a nice woolen overcoat again in rich purple. Um, men's. Let's see who did this one. John. No, John Depp from Hell. That. Oof. Can you fluff out the cape or something? That's so gorgeous. Look at that. That's the inside of this cape. Lots and lots of layers. Oh, it feels so woolly and warm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is Edwardian. Um, Claire Bloom wore this in the King's Speech. And that was a fine, fine movie. Who saw that? It's got sequins all over it. Alright. Let's see what the back is. Alright. Here's one over here. Let's see. Are you still Edwardian? Alright. Uh, Michelle Dockery, Downton Abbey, oh my gosh, I remember this dress. Oh, I remember this one. You know, it looked a lot fancier on the, on the show than it does here. But she was so pretty in it. Huh, that's kind of an interesting little... Huh. I like it. Alright, and let's see. Oh, Maggie Smith wore this one. I remember that one. And that was in Downton Abbey also. Hey, hey. I remember when she wore this one. Ah. It's, this is James D'Arcy. Andrea Reisenberg. Oops, I just now saw a sign that says, please don't handle the costumes. 
Let's see what this. Helen Mirren, the Queen. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, we're still in the Edwardian age. This is so pretty. Andrew Riceborough, James Darcy. Jen, do you know this movie? Quite different. There's all kinds of little black buttons stand back. And who's this? I think I remember these. We're back to the movie The King's Speech. There's Colin Firth's outfit and the Helena Bonham Carter board. That was a very good movie. She, she, she um, did not play a crazy woman in that movie, which is really rare for her. And she pulled it off. Earlier I showed you a horn window. This one is made of linen, and I think it's been waxed. It's been uh, rosin. with alum. With alum. Hot sheep's fat and rosin. Oh, yeah. There you go.